Hey boys, welcome back to some more Brisbane Broncos 2006 throwback career mode. Going to be taking on the Panthers in round one of the regular season action. So a big, uh, a big game. And as you can see there, the overall rating, what was ours? I think it was like 70, high 70s, I think it was. And most, most of the uh, NRL teams, I think they're... I think all of them are probably 80, 81, 82. I don't think there's any 70. There might be one that's like 79, but so, yeah. It, it seems a little, a little underpowered. Like, let's be real. This Brisbane side in today's era, obviously, it's completely, completely different era. Different, you know, different, different game, really. It's a different game, but my God, it was... Uh, it was a killer side, so to be to be one of the lower ranked teams in the comp, probably a little strange, but you know, it is what it is. I think overall it's it's still a very strong outfit. Um as uh Justin Hodges trademark trademark our dummy half. I mean yeah talked about it talked about it plenty of times. Just the, the dummy half running. Just just exceptional. It just, it, it just baffled me every single time, you know. Everyone knew it was coming as Corey Parker, the young, the young buck here goes straight through, gaping hole. So, good, good early start here. Under 10 minutes gone, we're already, already creating some nice inroads as Darren Lockyer, beautiful little ball there as uh, I thought he was through. Who was that? Brent Tate, I think it was. Try to get the pass away. We did get a six to go as a slick movement, but Darren Lockyer gets absolutely belted right there. And Nathan Cleary is going to scoop it up and take off. Carmichael Hunt going to give chase. I don't think he's going to get to him. Nathan Cleary. He just had too big a head start. I thought I thought Carmichael was uh, he had the he had the pace to start with, but uh, Cleary he um 2020. I mean he's always been a quick halfback. Uh, but the 2020 season, he looked absolutely shredded. He looks, he looks massive, honestly. Cleary has been hitting the gym hard, dude. He looks freaking stacked. So, uh, he might have lost a bit of pace over 100, but the power is definitely there. And, uh, right there, he's gonna, he's gonna score the first try for the Penny, Penry, Penry Panthers? The, the Penry Panthers? Right here, we tried the short side play. We had the overlap, three on two. All you had to do, the cutout pass or quick hands across, but a little bit uh, a little bit sloppy here early on in round one is uh, Josh Mansell now getting through. and Yeah, bit of a bit of a sluggish start. We are, we're obviously coming off some really good form in uh, the nines as Justin Hodges there gets through, gets the offload back to Sam Friday. Can't uh, can't make any more inroads, but yeah, coming off a, a you know successful nines tournament, didn't uh, didn't didn't make the grand final, but we got through to the the finals. Um, played some good footy. Is now Carmichael getting a little bit of payback. He gets just uh, a little bit of momentum killer there. The offload comes Corey Parker. How on earth, dude? How on earth have we not scored? There's been so many tight calls, but the Panthers round one here aiming up against this this old school Brisbane attack is Sean Berrigan now crabbing across field, puts the grubber in, and that's going to be uh, a bit of a, a bit of a nothing play right there, as uh, it's going to be Luai kicking it downfield. So 30 30 odd minutes into the into the game here is uh, Darius Boyd taking off here, gets a beautiful pass back to Sean Berrigan. Getting away from uh, one defender, but the the other Panther able to to round him up. Is uh, we get a good little chance here? Is uh, not what I wanted. Benny Henner just getting in the way of uh, a backline play, but <laughs> he was able to make uh, make a little line break. As Berrigan again takes off. They had the player offside. I thought he was going to be on, in for all money, but just jamming in there. The Panthers' defense. It's now Brad Thorne back to. Casey Maguire gets tackled. The The Panthers' defense is just absolutely unstoppable on the goal line. We're making line breaks, but uh, the goal line defense is impenetrable at the minute. Darren Lockyer, unfortunately, is going to be swarmed on last play. We, we just didn't have time to kick it. I tried to kick it as quick as possible, but uh, we were too close to the, to the try line. So that's going to be the halftime, a 6-0. Not a great first half, but uh, some good signs. Just couldn't really capitalize on, on good possession. Um, 
And one thing to note as well, as you could probably see, I do have David Stagg in the centers as the kick goes downfield and Dylan Edwards is going to score another basically length of the field effort. That is uh, that is an absolute killer. Um, it wasn't a bad early kick. Uh, the win was a bit of a shocker for us. It was going straight into our face. So I didn't really get the purchase we wanted and then Dylan Edwards just got straight through and scored a try. So we're going to be 12 nil down. feel a little unlucky to be in that position, but that's <laughs> how it goes. Uh, but getting back to the point, yeah, David Stagg is playing out in the centers at the moment. And then we've got, um, we've got Sean Berrigan playing in dummy half. Now, I don't... That's probably not going to be the... Uh, the set out. Also, yeah, got Casey McGuire at halfback instead of uh, Shane Perry. So I think, I think in next, the next round, I, I think coming up, we definitely, I do change it for Sean Berrigan to be playing in the centers, McGuire at dummy half and, uh, and Casey, uh, not Casey and McGuire, uh, Shane Perry to, uh, to be playing halfback. I'm actually not sure why I had it like this to start with, but um, yeah, I, I do switch it. And that that's pretty much the team that was the grand final team anyway. It, I'm, it, it definitely switched throughout the season, but that's uh, that's pretty much what we'll roll with for the for the majority is a uh, beautiful ball movement there. But again, the the big shots, dude. Good Lord. The, the, the Panthers' defense, they're absolutely monstering us here. As we try to put a little kick in behind, but clear, he's going to scoop it up. 20, well, now it's uh, 14 minutes to go. Is Darren Lockyer puts a little, little grubber in behind, scoots away here, gets the pass, he gets ricocheted, and Tony Carroll, all he had to do, all he had to do was play it down, but Carroll, he knocks it on at the last moment. I, I was a little suspect on the Lockyer pass, but they called it play on. Apparently, it must have been ruled back and came off the uh, the Panthers player. Is a nice sweeping backline movement here onto Justin Hodges. In and away, gets it onto Brent Tate. Beautiful ball movement there. That is what we want to see. Hodges in the backfield. He is very good at summing up a situation. Drew in a couple of players, the, uh, the winger and the fullback, and dished off a beautiful ball to Brent Tate to finally, finally get us on the board. And like I said, it's been a sloppy opening here. I think it... <laughs> It does coincide with uh, me not playing in a while. Um, so this was like the first game back in a while and we're definitely sloppy as Brent Tate gets a nice pass there. And we try the little inside ball. We should just hold on to it, but a little bit of a rush of blood there. And that's probably going to be all she wrote. Unfortunately, the Panthers are going to get the win first up in round one. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all, honestly. I, I like I like where we're going. Um Obviously, Scrappy first up here. It's been a while since he's his old fellas laced on the boots in a proper game. So, you know, there, there's there's improvement, and uh, I feel confident going forward. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.